Do multiple pair of eyeglasses work to improve eyesight? Hi, welcome to Myopia is Mental. My name is Mark Warren and I help people improve their eyesight naturally so they can see the world unobstructed without glasses or contacts. I get this question a lot about using multiple pair of eyeglasses to improve your eyesight and I wanted to talk about it in this video. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll give you a bonus on should you do this with or without glasses? I first started my vision improvement journey by using techniques from the Bates method, which I saw some results from, but not as fast as I wanted. And then I started going to the method where you use multiple pair of glasses. If you're not familiar with the concept of using multiple pairs of glasses, you have two pairs of glasses. You have a normalized pair of glasses, which is used for distance viewing, but it is a reduced prescription from your current prescription. And then you have a differential pair of glasses and this is a pair of glasses that are used for close-up viewing when you're working like with your tablet or your computer or something like that. The reason that you might want to use multiple pairs of glasses is because of this. When you get a single lens prescription from your eye doctor those glasses are optimized for distance viewing only. They're not optimized for close-up viewing so you put on your glasses and you can see stuff out 20, 30, 50, 100 feet away because they're optimized for seeing at a distance. And that is the definition of myopia or being nearsighted. You can see near, but you can't see far away. Now the thing is, if you keep these same pair of glasses on for reading stuff close up like your computer or a tablet or a book or something like that, these glasses become over-optimized and what you're reading is actually too sharp. So if you're working at a computer or using a tablet or using a book, you're going to use that differential pair of glasses that doesn't have as strong a prescription as your normalized glasses so you can read better at that close-up distance. When I got my first pair of eyeglasses, I went to the eye doctor and they said, use them for your distance viewing. So put your glasses on when you're having trouble seeing far away. However, being a kid and my parents, you know, they barely had enough to provide food on the table. They're like, don't lose these glasses. You keep them on all the time. That was kind of the thinking and one of the things that was ingrained in me to keep my eyeglasses on all the time. So once I put them on in the morning, I never took them off. Most of us who wear eyeglasses, we tend to do this. We put on our glasses first thing in the morning and we don't take them off until we go to bed at night. If you wear contacts, definitely they're in once you put them in in the morning and you don't take them out until night. After I started experimenting more with going without my glasses and then I got that first clear flash, that's when I started to realize, wait a minute, why do I even need glasses at all? Why can't I just work on trying to improve my eyes so I can see that clear flash all the time? Now, for a while, I did go back and forth between the differential and the normalized pair of glasses while still trying to work on clear flashes. However, I realized there was a problem and this is why I stopped using differentials and normalized pair of glasses. Don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking the method. I'm not saying that it doesn't work. I'm just saying it didn't work for me. So that's why I stopped wearing them. And there was a couple of reasons for that. Even if you're paying for a pair of glasses from your online retailers, you're looking at spending at least $25 for a pair of glasses. And if you have to buy two pairs of glasses, that's $50. And every time you reduce your lens, even if it's like a quarter diopter at a time, you've got to get a new set of glasses. So that can get costly over time. And before you know it, you've spent four or $500 on all these multiple pairs of glasses. Essentially what you're doing when you're getting multiple pairs of glasses is you're making yourself your own bifocal. Bifocals have your single lens prescription, but then they might have another additional lens here that's for used for close up viewing or close up reading. So all you're doing is basically creating your own bifocal. <laughs> it's funny because when I went to my last eye doctor and I told him I was having trouble seeing and reading close up, he wanted to put me in a bifocal, but I said, if I take off my glasses, I can read just fine. Why do I need a bifocal? So, <laughs> so obviously I did not go for a bifocal. Here's what I noticed, the big problem for me from using multiple pairs of glasses. When I got my clear flashes, again, I could see perfectly fine. I was seeing great. I was starting to make those clear flashes last longer and longer. But every time I put on my 
normalizer differential lenses and then switching between the lenses and then trying to go back to get a clear flash again it was harder trying to get those clear flashes again and again it took me sometimes half a day to get a clear flash again after wearing these different pairs of glasses the other thing i noticed from switching glasses back and forth i would start to get headaches more often I could feel the tension every time I switched between lenses, a pressure in my eyes and in my face. And the other thing that I noticed by wearing multiple pairs of glasses, when you put your glasses on, perspective changes depending on what the prescription is. I could put on my normalized pair and see great at a distance, but the perspective changes when you switch lenses. So everything might look clear in one way with this lens on, but I noticed the peripheral looked funny or weird or different. And then I'd go back to put on, you know, the differential pair working at the computer, working close up. And that difference in the way the peripheral looks, it was very confusing. And this is what I call confusion for the brain. Every time you have to switch lenses, your brain has to readjust to the new perspective of how this lens works versus this one. So I stopped using normalized and differentials and I just went with one single pair of glasses. It was a reduced pair of glasses and when it came to working for close up, now my prescription at its highest was negative five, but what I did, I had one pair of glasses that I used for distance viewing when absolutely needed and the rest of the time, I didn't wear glasses at all. I just worked on the techniques that I've been doing over and over to help my vision. So what did I do when I was working close up at the computer? I basically just moved my monitor closer to my face. I didn't lean closer to the, to the monitor because that creates another set of problems that we'll talk about on another day. But basically, I put my monitor, both of my monitors, I have two monitors for my computer, I put them on articulating arms so I could bring them closer to my face. And as I got more comfortable working and improving my vision, I slowly started to push those monitors further and further back. Now they're at least arms distance away from me when I'm working at my computer and I don't need the glasses, of course, anymore. As far as when it came to actually wearing glasses, again, when absolutely needed. So if I needed them for driving, I would wear my glasses then if I needed them for some type of thing or that I had to see far away or working with machinery, stuff like that. That's when I wore my glasses. If I didn't need to have my glasses on though, just walking around the house, you know, watching TV or whatever, those were the times that I worked on my vision without glasses, nothing in front of my eyes at all. Again, I'm not saying that using multiple pair of glasses is bad. Whatever works for you, whatever floats your boat, go for it. I'm not knocking any of the other methods. However, I will say, like I said, these are the problems that I ran into and really made me think about it. So if I could see clearly without glasses at all, why did I need to have all these multiple pairs of glasses? Okay, so here's the bonus question. Should I do this with or without glasses? And here's my take on it. Look, if you're working on trying to improve your, your vision, you can do it with glasses. However, it needs to be done with a reduced prescription. You can't work on your vision if there's nothing to work on. So if you're using your full prescription glasses or contacts and you're trying to work on improving your vision, there's nothing to improve because you already have your maximum optimal prescription. My preferred method for me was to use no glasses at all because again, if I could get a clear flash and see clearly without my glasses, even if it's for a couple of seconds, I was training my brain to actually do this all the time. A lot of people think that the eyes see. The eyes don't see anything. Your eyes only collect light information. It's your brain that creates that picture that you see. So I did more of working on my brain, getting it to process that signal that was being received from that light that was coming through my eyeballs. I worked more on the brain part of it than working on actually trying to fix my eyes because the eyes aren't the problem. The eyes only collect light. They're like the lens on my camera. All they do is accept light 
and that information is transmitted to a little plane, the retina, and that signal goes back to the brain. The brain is what's creating those images that you see. So I stopped working on trying to fix my eyes and worked on fixing the efficiency of the signal that was coming from the retina to the back of my brain that was creating those images. Once you start looking at vision improvement from that way, then you'll find you'll improve very quickly.